Independence is loyalty to one's best self and principles. Mark Twain So everything that the Creator gave you that you need is already in here. So instead of you tapping into here to try to figure out what you need to do, you're looking towards the system because the system is your goal. You have been reduced to a beta male mindset. Everything I'm about to say, you already know it's true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. Whoa now, whoa now, whoa now. Here we go. Female independence and a beta male mindset. What made you think about this, Brother Kush? Well, I said something in one of my recent videos where I mentioned about the woman being independent, how I'll be singing a song right there with an I-N-D. In a literal sense, I never liked that song. The beat banging. But that is a beta male mindset. That was actually the first song that I heard Boosie do that told me what kind of man he really is. And sure enough, everything he's done subsequently proved me right. What we don't understand is that a beta mindset is one that capitulates to the powers that be. It's not just about uh, how he deals with women. The beta mindset goes beyond that. It's how he deals with society. It's how he moves through society. And when you start talking about independence, you got to understand as an alpha is that no one is independent. To be honest, especially not in the way we live now. We all are dependent upon the system, which is why, did going back to the whole red pill video I did about how the red pill was supposed to be about awakening to the systemic oppressions and slavery that we live under in our modern times. If you understand it, they have us completely locked into a system that we are dependent on, but we can't control. We have no power over none of this. We are completely dependent. None of us are independent. We just don't depend on each other anymore. We depend on the system. The system is why our women have gone rogue. They don't depend on men anymore. They depend on the system. So no woman is I-N-D-E-P-E. -E. No woman is that. So when I was saying that, I was speaking in a more of a metaphor. It was allegory. It, it, it was example, you know, it, it was humor. You know, it was it was it was some truth to it, but not truth all the way. Because I understand that within this this matrix, none of us are independent. None of us. I don't care if you got your own business. You still depend on the money. You still depend on a system of commerce. You still depend on economics. All of these things are systemic and you have no control over it. You know, they like to put out all these books tell you about how to do business. I'm gonna talk about business too on this channel. You know, as a small business owner, I know about that too. So I'm gonna talk about that. I'm gonna get into that. But they talk about like business. You know, man, you be free when you have your own business and you do this. You're not free. Because you still need to make that money. If your clientele ever dry up, you in trouble. If something ever happened in the laws of our society that, that makes your business obsolete, you in trouble. You are never free because we depend on this system. That's why real red pill goes against the system, not against women. Because we should understand that the women are in this matrix also. And we should be trying to free up everybody because the more people in it, they just become agents. And that's what the beta mindset is. The beta male mindset is an agent to this system. When you hear these brothers, you know, uh, cheering these women on, patting them on the back and all this old feminazi type stuff, that is not good, man. They are showing you that they have capitulated to the system. 
They not doing what they doing to praise women. They doing what they doing to praise the system, to fall in line with the powers that be. That is their way of doing it. You ever notice that a lot of these conservative black channels are huge on YouTube? And the crazy thing is, 90% of their subscriber base wouldn't even invite them over to their house so they can eat out of a dog bowl on their hands and knees. But they, they think because these people come in there and like their videos and make comments, they think that they are doing something. They, that's a beta mindset. They have capitulated to the powers that be. They have folded. Man, first of all, nobody have all conservative or all liberal views. You know what I'm saying? You're not human if you see everything down party lines because these things are systemic. A human being should be able to look at things based on the issues at hand and decide for himself which one he agrees with and which one he doesn't. So sometimes you agree with the conservatives, sometimes you will, you will agree with the liberals. That's just being a real human, right? But when you are, when you are folding to the system, you are choosing a side to capitulate to. You are choosing a side to sell out to. And that's what a lot of these men do. The beta male mentality is the one that has sold out to some aspect of the matrix. And independence is a myth of the matrix. Because I don't know what you, what, what, how you could walk around this thing looking at what I'm looking at and think you independent. Then your butt get up this morning and, and, and go to work. You got up at 5 a.m., had to be to work at 7. You work till 5 p.m., you know, and then get home till 6.30 in the evening, 7 o'clock in the evening. You've been gone 12 hours, and you tell me that you free, that you did that just because you wanted to? No, you did it because you had to. So none of us are independent. We are all trapped in this thing. Now, to be independent takes us to work together. That is really what my platform is about. That's really where I'm going with this. I'm trying to first break these chains off your mind so, so you can see. And I do understand the importance of women. Again, I understand. But brothers, you're not going to get women as long as you are in the mindset that you are in. Your mindset is wrong. You're like Elliot Rogers. You think that women supposed to come to you. No, it's not like that. You're going to end up like Elliot Rogers. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Look up Elliot Rogers' little, little video he put out right before he went on that, 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 that spree. Look it up. He, he just knew that he was supposed to have it made with girls, but they don't like him. You know why they didn't like him? Because they can sense something was off. You can't walk around women like they supposed to want you just because you got a job. Like they supposed to want you just because you got a college degree. It don't go that way, man. People are attracted to character, man. You got to develop some character. And that's what I'm trying to do here on the Black Alpha. When I try, when, once I get you to develop a little character, the women are going to start coming your way. And then you're going to want to break off the rest of the chains because you're not going to want to fight the Matrix until you have something to fight for. And right now, a lot of y'all, y'all don't have nothing to fight for. I mean, just being honest, you don't have nothing to fight for. That's one of the reasons why they went at the women to break down the family structure. They knew once you remove that woman, the man is going to be focused on the woman and woman only. He's never going to get his mind right to fight. We're not going to fight till we get out of the mindset of worrying about women. Because right now, when they remove the woman from us and we sunk down to trying to figure out how to get that woman back without knowing they put us in the beta male mindset. Because now you're sitting around talking about how you gotta get a college degree, I gotta not be a pookie, and then you get mad at the dudes who got women. You talk like like they like like they got it made, they so easy. I'm gonna do a bit another video talking about that too. You know, but the truth of the matter is if being pookie was so easy, you would do it. If being pookie was so easy with so many benefits, you would do it. Pookie's life is not easy. And a lot of times it's very damn short. Trust me. I've almost been deleted twice in my 21st birthday year. I got hit. I got hit like a few days after my birthday and I got hit again seven months later. Pookie life is not, is not glorious. 
And that's just the times I got hit. I didn't have them whizzing past me boo cool times. I didn't been I, I didn't been hit down here. I didn't been cracked up here. Come on, man. This stuff ain't this this stuff ain't what y'all think it is. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 Cause if you if Pookie's life was that easy and great, y'all all would be Pookie. So stop pretending like Pookie is your problem. No, Pookie is just rejecting certain aspects of the matrix. That's all he's doing. He is innately opposing it. And instead of you, you know, you want to make him your enemy, you should make him your friend. Because y'all are, are just two sides of the same coin. Y'all should be. You should be opposing in a different way. He's opposing that way. You should oppose it in a different way. But opposition to the system should be our goal. That should be our goal. But without knowing it, when they remove that woman from you, they reduce you to a beta mindset. It's almost like that, that, that movie, The Golden Compass, when they take away their demons. They take that away, you're no longer the same person. It, it, it takes something out of you. When they remove that woman, they took something out of the man. They understood that. They have reduced you to a beta male mindset. So now you are looking to the system to try to figure out how to get your woman back instead of looking to Allah, instead of looking to God. Jehovah, Jesus, Yah, whatever you call the creator, I don't care. You are looking to the system to try to figure out how to get your woman back instead of looking to your creator. Because all the answers you need are found in your creator. They are found within because I self am Lord and master. Remember Emmanuel, God is within man. Remember, we are the Khalifa. We, we, we sit in the place of the creator here on earth. So everything that the creator gave you that you need is already in here. So instead of you tapping into here to try to figure out what you need to do, you are looking towards the system because the system is your God. You have been reduced to a beta male mindset. So this female independence is a myth. They're not independent because first of all, most of the jobs these women have are government jobs that shouldn't even exist. You get rid of family court, you're gonna have a lot of women on welfare. <laughs> and I'm not talking about family court from the aspect of just child support stuff. I'm talking about the whole thing. Do you know every child that goes through that system creates a paycheck for like, you know, a couple hundred people just in one city? Every single child creates income for like hundreds of people in one city, in one courthouse. You got conservators, you got, you got counselors, you, you got all types of doctors and nurses and I mean, you gotta look it up and see how vast that, 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 that bureaucracy is. There are a lot of jobs created on the back of family court. You wipe out family court and, and, and them jobs are held by 80% women. You wipe out family court, you're gonna have a lot of women on welfare. A lot of them. And not to count the women that's, that's sitting back fat off of child support and stuff. You're gonna have a lot of women on welfare. A lot of women gonna have long faces. You wipe that out. So when you work for the government, are you gonna oppose the government? If you directly get a check directly from the head of the system, government is the head of the system. If you're getting your income from the head of the system, or you gonna oppose the system. This is the fundamental problem we have with black women. And I'm telling y'all, this is one of the main reasons why we need to open up our options. Our sisters are not gonna oppose, they're not gonna bite the hand that's feeding them. They're not gonna bite the hand that's feeding them. And I mean, and can you ask them to do that? I mean, you really can't, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you don't have to respect what they are doing, but you, you gotta at least understand it, you know? I don't respect the men that, that sell out like that either, but I do understand it. You'll never be my kind of dudes, but I understand it. And I'm not knocking nobody who has a job. I'm not talking about that. You know what I'm saying? We all gotta eat somehow. We all gotta pay bills somehow. So I'm not talking about how you earn your income. I'm talking about the mindset that you have. You could be in this matrix and understand that it's wrong. In which case, you should be then trying to find brothers like myself to see what can we do to get us out of this matrix. I have a plan. I have a plan. I can't say it on YouTube, but I'm trying to build to that point where we start talking about this. As soon as I get enough brothers, and I don't need a lot, 50 of us, 
That's serious. Hundred of us, that's serious. We can start doing things. We can make moves. And the first thing we're gonna do is, is figure out some way to earn a passive income while we build, while we build a new community. And I got plans. I got plans. No, don't email me asking me because I'm not going to tell you until we are ready to move on. You know what I'm saying? You can't put your stuff out in the universe like that. You got to keep stuff close. You know, you got to keep it in until it's time to let it out. You know what I'm saying? So it's not time yet. But when it's time, we're going to move on it. I just need to see I got brothers I can depend on. Notice I'm not saying sisters. I'm saying brothers. I need brothers that I can depend on. Brothers that won't out this matrix. Brothers that really took the red pill, not the fakers. Talking about women all day. I'm talking about real red pill mindset. Not the beta male mindset. Not the blue pill mindset hiding behind red pill, you know, talking points. You know, uh, not, this is not even talking point. I don't know what they're doing. I, I don't know what this red pill community is doing. They just bastardized the meaning of red pill, you know what I'm saying? But we need to understand that by them, by every move the system has made was to get us totally dependent on it. So women can holler independence all they want. Men can sit there and cheer them on all they want, but none of us are independent within this system. None of us. We just don't depend on each other like we should. Because if we depended on each other, the system would have no hold on us. Now, you think about that. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Till next time I'm out of here, I'm Brother Kush, AKA The Black Elf. So now.